down Main Street, and anybody that wants any help, or if you don't want any help, that's fine. Uh, anybody that wants help, I'll be more than happy to help you. We have a second day that we're gonna do West Chatham and North Chatham, which I think is the week after or yeah, somewhere I'll, around there. We'll get the I'll dates to you. And once again, just let us know if you want, you have a particular store, I know you want me to come to yours. So um, the big thing that we need to know is we need water. That's one of the biggest things in plantings. Uh, here at CBI, we have a full irrigation system. So whatever I plant and wherever I plant always gets water. The only thing that we don't have water on is the pots and the window boxes. So, and those get watered every other day by our team. So if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free on the water. The first part I want to tell you is the planting part. The, uh, and we just discovered this new trick a couple of years ago. So we put soil moist in our soil. We work with ProMix, that's our soil. Um, I don't know if Agway sells it. I do know Heart Farm does. I just saw it there yesterday. ProMix is a very light soil mixed in with perlite and mixed in with all the things that are great for soil. So in your window boxes and planters, empty them all up. You want to start fresh. Every year we take all the soil out of our planters and window boxes and start fresh every year. Uh, once again, you know, if you don't want to use Promex, you can use miracle Grow. I'm not a real big, huge fan of it. I, I've used it today. Um, I like to add to my soil myself. So what I do normally is I start halfway, I fill a window box halfway up. I put soil moist in, which is when it gets wet, these are little pearls that fill up with water. So it helps keeping the root system nice and, and nice and wet. A little goes a long way. You only need, in a window box of this size, you only need a pinch. Oh. Oh. So I also use this when I'm planting shrubs because you know to give a new shrub some benefit, I just take a pinch of this and I mix it in the soil and then plant the shrub and water so that it, it, it starts on a new phase. Highly, highly recommend this. Um, also, we, pardon? Where can you get it? You can get this at any garden center. Um, I would suggest if you're just doing planters, you only need this packet. You don't need the big jug. We go, we go through five gallon pails, two every season. And what does this do? Is it for water retention? Yes, oh, okay. it, it, it turns, it, it's little beads, yeah. and then when they get wet, they fill up with water. Okay, so that, so, it, so instead of watering every other day, you can, how long does, so what does that translate? You can do to? like every third day. Oh, okay. If it's really hot, I yeah. suggest that you still, and once again, when you're watering, yeah. you're not watering to make it saturated. You're only watering plants to make them moist. So, and that's another big thing. Some people, you know, why aren't my plants doing well? Why aren't they vibrant? Because they're overwatered. And how you can tell when you're overwatering, your leaves are gonna start turning yellow. And that's got way too much water in it. Always make sure you have drainage in your, your pots and your planters, but you are, are just watering to make them moist. And then this will be down below in the root system, keeping that moist as well. So the second phase is once you've planted everything up, you wanna feed your, feed your plants. We only feed once a planting. So a window box to us, when I plant all the window boxes in May, I feed in May. So I just take a handful of food, my handful, and I just go into the plant and I spread it around. And then I water. Okay, so this, these, so I plant the third week in May. 
And this is what our plants look in like in August, our window boxes. No, these are August. Oh, okay. So you want to get long life out of your plants because you can spend thousands of dollars. And, and I trust me, I can tell you, we, you can spend thousands of dollars and you just don't want to waste that money. So if you plant them correctly the first time out of the gate, you want them to look like this in August. You want to be able to cry in September when you're pulling them out to put moss. <laughs> and I, I literally cry every September. Oh, and then I tried it, you know, for the first couple of years, I was like, oh, I'm going to take them home. I'm going to, you know, oh my God, these mandevillas are gorgeous. Well, my husband almost left me because my whole living room was covered with mandevillas <laughs> that I had to have for next year. So, that's your goal, is you want to cry when you rip things out because there's nothing wrong.